There's no cinematic settings today. It's just all me. We're gonna talk about what's my favorite doll or equipment that I love to use. And uh, hope you guys enjoy what I uh, have to say. Cause I know y'all gonna hate on it either way. Bolo! Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And if you like this video, at the end of the video, hit that thumbs up if you like the video, or you can hit that thumbs down. As you guys know, I really don't care. I really don't. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite equipment and dolls that I like to use to produce. And I'm gonna go down a list, and I'm gonna show you guys what I like to use. And I'm gonna start from my favorite to my least favorite. And I think we kind of got a tie in here, I believe. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. And I'm gonna tell you guys what's my favorite and my least favorite and uh, see what you guys think. I love when you guys comment about the stuff that I like to use. So let's talk about it right now. So it is of no surprise that my favorite thing to produce on is the MPC and hardware. There's nothing like the MPC and hardware because it's kind of like the real thing, even though the new NPCs are very much computer based. I still have my NPC 2500 and I still have some old hardware units that I still use with that as well. Sounds great. And uh, the reason why I like to use this is because it just gives me a sense of just producing without a computer. I don't have to worry about like CPU usage and stuff like that. It's just all about using the sounds from keyboard and the MP. Now, it can get kind of expensive a little bit, but at the end of the day, if you got the bread to do it, I don't think it'll hurt anybody to get any like dollars setups. Like, I think it'll be great for you. It'll make you a better producer because you're kind of forced into music theory in a bit. And uh, there's really no shortcuts with it. I kind of like it to where it's, you know, you have to kind of just produce old school fashion. You know, I'm a little older than some of you guys who watched me and I'm a little younger than some of you guys who watched me. But at the end of the day, hardware rules. It sounds better. It's just something about hardware. Every time you make a beat on it, people always ask like, what did you make that on? It's just, it just feels better. It's like warm and it just feels better. So this is my number one thing that I produce on is the MP and of course my hardware unit. And uh, I love it. Sounds great. All right, number two on the list. Number two is of course, on my iPad and that is Beatmaker 3. Um, my, my iPad is dead, wow. Yeah, so Beatmaker 3. Beatmaker 3 is number two on my list because as you guys know, Beatmaker 3 is just super dope and because the portability of it and they're getting so much better with these iOS apps. It's crazy, the sounds are crazy and you can produce on the iOS app anywhere. And I literally mean anywhere, just pick up the app and just go at it. It's the best sample based app on the market, hands down, and it works more like a conventional DAW than any other app that's on the market. Um, you know, you got Cubases and a few other things, but they just don't have the sampler capabilities and the movement of switching between screens and actually getting your idea down fast. So Beatmaker 3, definitely, right now, is my second option, but it's kind of tied with something right now. <laughs> Okay, it's tied with Logic Pro. Logic Pro is my DAW of choice because I'm very familiar with it. I've been using it for a long time now. Didn't start off with it. My first DAW I started off with was Reason, but over time, um, I went from Reason to Cubase to FL Studio. Then I ended up on Logic, and Logic just became something that I just really enjoy using. I really love producing in a linear fashion and it just just makes everything so much better. I know the program pretty much inside and out a little bit. There's a few key commands I don't know, but I've made all of my biggest hits on Logic. So I've sold over like 12 million records from Logic Pro. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, I can give myself a pat on the back for that. All right, so that was like number one, two, three, but two and one, yeah. So the next app that I really kind of enjoy producing on now, and you guys might be a little shocked, is Presonus Studio One. Yes, Presonus Studio One has really captivated me. I really like using it. I have not upgraded it to the professional version. I'm still in the artist version, but the artist version has everything that I need. I know the pro version has a few more other little things like the core thing on it and all that stuff like that, but I don't use that in any other program, so I don't really need it. 
I have my VSTs in there. I have everything that I need to make a complete record. Now, I have not recorded any vocals or anything like that in it. They say the version five uh, professional is actually really dope, um, like recording stuff like that, which, you know, I, I might go ahead and get it. As of right now, I don't need it because I'm just really just doing production and it's just dope. So if you guys think I really need to upgrade to the professional version to put this program over the top, let me know. But I'm just so not into paying for an upgrade for something I've already paid hundreds of dollars for already. I paid one time for Logic. I paid one time for my MP. I paid one time for Beatmaker 3. So yeah, so I don't feel like paying anymore. But Studio One definitely has a great sound. I love how it has a nice little groove to it. Um, it doesn't necessarily snap like the MP or whatever. Logic really doesn't have that much of a groove to it, but it's, it's kind of getting, I'm not, I know how to kind of manipulate it. But um, I kind of like how Presonic Studio One sounds. So yes, I had to put that ahead of this next program that I do use, and that is <laughs> the least favorite on the totem pole, which is FL Studio. For all you FL users, I love FL, love FL. Sounds great. Just the actual, everything about it is great. The way it sounds, the groove of it, everything just sounds just so good. It does, sounds really great. The drums come out banging, everything is cool. It has everything built into this program. The only thing I don't like about it is it takes time to just really get your ideas to sound the way they want to sound because you have to put it in pattern mode, then from pattern mode, you have to take it, then put it from there, then put it into song mode, then from there you have to take your things and then route them back into the mixer so you can mix everything, then add the effects, and you add the effects on there, it's kind of weird a little bit, unless you've been using FL for a while, so it kind of feels weird to me, but it does not kind of feel weird to me, but it does kind of feel weird to me because it's just weird to me. At the end of the day, FL sounds great. I know it's a lot of hits being made on it right now. It's probably the go-to program for everybody, but for my old ass, I'd rather just use <laughs> the stuff that I mentioned before, FL. Um, sounds great. I made some beats on the other day on my live, which you guys need to go check that out. Um, I have a video, like it's like 50 minutes on my live where I made beats on it. It's actually a really dope program, and I think that if you guys are into something like that, hey man, go ahead and run it. And plus you have free lifetime updates on it too, like the lifetime updates are great. So yeah, basically that is it. That's what I use. I don't really use anything else. There are a few iOS apps that I kind of use, like Nano Studio. Don't really use Cubasis or nothing like that. But for the most part, the MPC, Beatmaker 3, Logic, Presonic Studio 1, and FL Studio, which I call it Fruity Loops. That's what I came up on. But yeah, that's what I use. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little tidbit on the stuff that I like to use. Let me know what you guys use. I wanna know what you guys use and I want you to rate my list. I want you guys to let me know in the comments how do you feel about my list and uh, let me know how you really feel. I love to you know, chat with y'all in the comments and to see what you guys really thought about this. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, Peace out.